Welcome back to another Shotcut video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at the green screen chroma key uh, feature uh, and taking out uh, a certain color and then compositing it over a different video. So it should be a lot of fun. What we're gonna do first is click here and go to add video track and then add video track. We need to have two tracks because we need a video for our background. I'm just gonna choose this one in this case. So whatever's on this lower track will appear in the background and then whatever we place on top of it, so in this case it'll be our clip with a green or blue screen or a consistent color that we want to remove. And so uh, what we'll do is take out this. So if we play it now, we see that it's just the green, we're not seeing this background like we want to. We wanna see the jet, of course, but we don't wanna see this green, we want it to be transparent. So to turn it transparent, we use the chroma key feature and basically, it's a filter, so we add it, and it's under video, and it's just chroma key, they're simple and advanced. We'll just start with simple, and we see that by default, since it's, it was set up for this green color, we can choose a certain color, so this is what it might look like. Oh, actually, we don't wanna do black either. If we choose a weird color that this doesn't have, then we kinda of see what this looked like originally. And then we can actually take this eyedropper and select this green color to really help it look more natural. There's still a little bit of green up here we can see. It looks a little bit strange, but at least it, this actually isn't too bad. So the video is still playing in the background, and then we also have this jet just flying away from the house, super low to the ground, and then uh, yeah, that's that. So not too bad. And then if we want to, we can bring that in and see some of that green that we don't really, we'd like to adjust a little bit. We can adjust and fine tune here and see. So that kind of makes that all kind of green in. We can adjust until a lot of that green goes away, but if we go too far, we start losing some of our, some clarity too. So we just adjust there and that looks pretty good. Yeah, not too bad at all, huh? Um, it helps that my video clip, if I go back to the source, it helps that these video clips are the same size. If I go to properties, I see it's 1920 by 1080. Both of them are, which makes it nice. Otherwise that jet would be really small and I would have to scale it first if it were smaller than my source of it, than my, uh, the other video I was compositing it against, or vice versa. So when doing chroma key, it's a good idea to always have your, your clips be the same size, but it's not necessary. I mean, we can always change it. In fact, what we could do, if we want this jet to be a little bit smaller and just up here in the sky, we could now go to filters and apply a size, what did I do? A size and position. We click on this, go to filters, Go to add and we type in size and position. So now we can actually take this and we can resize it and it resizes it with the green screen and we can kind of put it up here. I don't know if this is gonna make any, if this is gonna look good or not. Let's go to the beginning and see. So now we have the jet just sort of up there, slowly flying by this part of the, right there. Woo. So you can do, you know, multiple and a lot of times you will do <clears throat> um, size and position and scale your green screened object because you want it to just be floating in the middle of your of your video. Um, let's look at doing one more. Well, let's look at the advanced now. So I'm going to click on here and delete and that gets rid of all the effects we did too. And then um, might as well just, since we're deleting anyway, let's bring in, uh, this is a cool one, this door. So let's bring in this clip that I'm sure you're not sick of yet. And let's bring in this one. And so what we're going to do is have this door open and we'll see hopefully someone playing the banjo out on the back porch. But so we have to, this green is a lot more pale than that last one we were looking at. So let's see how this works. We go to filters, we select the, the clip with the door, we go to add video and we go to, let's try, now yeah, we'll just do the advanced. So we need to pick the color. So we'll grab our eyedropper and tell it that that shade, oh look at that. Pretty good so far. So that's the shade we want. <laughs> and then let's move this video a little bit. Where is it at? So we go to size and position. So let's move this over a little bit here so we can, oh, wrong one. Control, let's get rid of size and position there. Let's come over here and let's apply a size and position to this background video. So we go. Now we can move this and have it be back here. <laughs> uh, this is my buddy Reef playing the banjo. 
All right, so here we go. Not too bad. So this door gets opened, and Reese out here, larger than life, playing banjo. Okay, we can make some adjustments on here now. So we come back to this one that has the, the chroma key. And now we can make some adjustments just like we did before on the simple. Well, now this basically has some different ones that we can adjust. So we can do this one up. We don't want to start getting rid of that door though. So we can kind of make some changes here to get rid of some of that green and some of that weird looking, yeah, just some artifacting happening there. So we don't, we don't again, we don't want to go too much. And we'd adjust, we can apply some lighting filters too to kind of match the lighting since this is done in a studio and this one's done um, outdoors. Oh, by the way, I should just mention both of these clips I got from Pixabay. Uh, so there's some different clips you can get. I'll include the link. It's pixabay.com and uh, some great open source or very um, open licensing for getting some nice video clips if you need some to work with. Uh, oh, and then you can change there's also other settings here. I'm not exactly sure what these do, but see it changes the, the way this appears. So play with some of these settings and see that floor looks a little bit strange. It's all black there. So some of these uh, we can change and make it look a little bit more natural. And then this shape kind of just affects, I actually don't know exactly what it does, but it affects the way the green screening works. We'll go back to the ellipse maybe. There you have it. Um, that is doing chroma key in Shotcut. Actually, really not too bad at all. Uh, this invert here actually inverts it the other way around. So now we're seeing the base. Basically, it's like switching these two clips. So now we're actually seeing this part of the green screen and everything else is masked out. But uh, yeah, play with that. Uh, and let me know if you have any questions, comments below. This might be the last Shotcut video I do in a little while. Um, but I'll keep adding to as more projects come to mind. Just so you know, I have been using Shotcut to compile all of these video, uh, this video tutorial series. Um, and there's been some pluses and minuses. You know, if you've been watching the last couple of videos, we've had some crashes. I haven't been really impressed with the stability of, um, of Shotcut. But what I will say is the rendering is very quick. So it's actually faster rendering when we go to export our video. Uh, the rendering is much quicker than Caden Live. It takes full advantage or a lot more advantage of the GPU and CPU, whereas for the time being, Caden Live is only um, CPU rendering, at least without some workarounds. So I do like the rendering. I love the simplicity of the interface. I think for like your grandma, this would be the best open source program she can use for video editing. But when you do get into the upper end of some of the of different effects, transitions, filters, um, I think you're gonna wanna go over towards um, Caden Live or something like the DaVinci Resolve if you want more, you know, some of those more advanced features. Anyway, really appreciate you um, sticking with me and watching uh, this tutorial series. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, leave your questions below, and I uh, hope to see you soon in another video tutorial series.